Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Uh, okay, thank you. So this is the last day for the HCIE DITCOM training. Okay, the last day we will learn, uh, first learn OPS fundamental and uh, practice. And uh, the OPS fundamental uh, is based on different device. Uh, it's based on different device. Uh, so, uh, so the lab guide, uh, the lab guide, uh, is a little different from our uh, training slide, uh, from our training slide. And uh, then we'll do o OPS experiment. Uh, and then we learn the uh, restful fundamental and uh, some practice. Uh, uh, the last two is uh, MSNCE Open API and uh, MSNCE uh, Service Openness and uh, Programmability. So, uh, this tool is just uh, introduce uh, the uh, the capability uh, of Huawei uh, NCE platform, and uh, if you want to do some experiment, I, I suggest you uh, use the HCIP uh, data com the network automation uh, the material. Okay, uh, begin we uh, we. Uh, before we begin, uh, I will uh, first send you some link. Uh, some link you can you can learn uh, after class. Okay, uh, these links are uh, very useful for today's uh, knowledge. Uh, this is a net engine it's on the series. As uh, uh, Open API, Open API, and uh, this is uh, uh, HCIP, uh, Digital Network Automation Developer uh, Version One course. Uh, all the HCIE, uh, all the knowledge uh, in HCIE is the same. Uh, is the same in this course. So I think you can also, uh, uh, you can also uh, see this video. Uh, uh, here I can. Uh, uh, open it for you as an example. Okay, so this is the HCIP Digital Network Automation and uh, Developer. Uh, and uh, you must uh, have a Huawei account. Uh, then you can learn the, uh, learn the course. So uh, for this course, you 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 are not a listen, uh, listen the uh, the theory, uh, but you can also say how to do the practice. Uh, some lab, uh, some lab in in this uh, in this video in this video, uh, you you can use the link. I have just uh, send in the chat room. Uh, in the chat room, and uh, next is uh, campus. A uh, campus. Uh, I can also uh, open it. Ah, uh, this is the de uh, developer for Cloud Campus. Ah, uh, Cloud Campus. Uh, you can also visit this website, and uh, you can do some uh, experiment. I uh, can uh, quick try and uh, learn more and uh, uh, API commencing. Uh, and you can select the corresponding uh, link. Uh, next uh, is uh, uh, NCE, uh, Service Openness and uh, Programmability. Uh, you can also uh, open the link. Telecom uh, Network uh, Open Programmability. And uh, here is our video uh, introduced why we need the uh, uh, did the crown, uh, the, the NCE, uh, NCE openness and the programmability. Uh, uh, this uh, may be similar uh, with our slide, with our slide. Okay. Uh, you can also 
click the developer learning center. Uh, you can see the quick start, uh, advanced learning, debugging, the code, uh, exhibit, uh, and so on. Uh, there is the network device openness uh, community. Uh, so I can also open here. Uh, so this is a network device openness and the community. Uh, here also some you can click the uh, uh, API center and uh, you can do the quick start, a uh, quick start. Okay, some link may not uh, uh, counter, counter click. Then this is a website for Jinja2, uh, for Jinja2. Uh, it will use, use uh, in the uh, NCE uh, service openness, uh, this website, uh, this website. Okay, the, that's uh, what we use uh, in the last day class. Then let's begin first, uh, uh, first slide. Uh, OPS. Okay, OPS fundamental and uh, practice. So uh, a conventional network device is a, a closed system, a closed system that provides fixed function, uh, such as uh, the Huawei device we use VRP, uh, VRP5, uh, VRP5 and uh, VRP8, uh, VRP8, but the also, only support fixed function. Uh, fixed function. You must uh, input the command that uh, the device define. Uh, so, uh, when uh, so when the network uh, wanted to be uh, flexible, uh, Huawei has launched the Open Programmability System (OPS). Uh, OPS to provide openness and uh, programmability. Uh, capabilities for network device and uh, enable user to perform secondary development fully and using the potential of device. So this class introduces OPS and uh, this describe its principal application scenario, provide our case. Uh, this slide is based on, C, on the Huawei device, uh, CE, uh, CE, one, two, uh, eight. Uh, this theory, uh, this theory. Uh, but in our HCIE Datacom lab, uh, we use uh, NE, uh, NE, and uh, S, uh, 507, this theory uh, device. So uh, maybe uh, they are different uh, uh, for different device, uh, for different device. Okay, uh, let's see if the OPS uh, overview. First, we say uh, why we need OPS. Uh, in this uh, three uh, scenario, uh, we can see here during network de deployment, a uh, service needs to be configured for language number of device after the hardware uh, installation. Uh, it means a lot of uh, devices need to be configured. Then, as a network administrator, I want the device to uh, automatically take actions when alarms are generated, and then is the network is disconnected when the network administrator wants to remotely deliver commands and uh, periodically collect the device information through compiled uh, scripts. Uh, but uh, if the link uh, between the uh, administrator and the device, so you can't input uh, anything. So in order to solve the uh, Problem: The OPS, um, the OPS support, uh, the OPS support. You can uh, run Python file. Uh, you can run Python. Uh, Python. Uh, run Python file on the local device. Uh, on local device. On local device. It means the device has uh, installed the IDE for Python. Uh, has installed the IDE for Python. The device itself. Uh, has the IDE for Python. 
Okay, Huawei offers uh, OPS. The OPS allows the user and the third party developer to develop and deploy network management policies using Open RESTful API. Uh, Open RESTful API. So this uh, just uh, used with CE, uh, CE. Uh, this is a device. It implements rapid service expansion, uh, autom uh, automatic function deployment, and the intelligent device uh, management, helping reduce network operation and uh, maintenance cost and simplify the network operation. So this is uh, the uh, script, uh, script uh, for CE device, uh, for CE device. Uh, this is our Python, uh, Python file. The Python file will invoke the RESTful, uh, RESTful API on the device, uh, RESTful API on the device. Uh, and uh, with the system capability, uh, that means you can run, uh, run the Python um, script on the local device. Okay. Uh, this is the OPS architecture. The OPS is developed uh, on Huawei well, VRP. Uh, it uses Open RESTful API to work with VRP uh, management plane, control plane, and uh, data plane. Uh, uh, for CE device, uh, it supports RESTful uh, API. The OPS provides a managed uh, object MO. Uh, MO to open device, uh, each MO is uniquely identified by a uniform resource, uh, uniform resource, URI, URI, here, URI. The client can perform operation on objects using standard HTTP methods, uh, such as get, put, post, and uh, delete. So yesterday, uh, we have uh, learned the telemetry, uh, telemetry. Uh, telemetry use uh, uh, gRPC, uh, gRPC to get a get a, uh, device information uh, to the collector, and uh, we also learned the uh, rest conf, uh, rest conf, uh, rest conf, rest conf. Uh, uh, it uh, also can configure the device, configure the device. You, both gRPC and the rest are uh, based on HTTP, uh, based on uh, HTTP. So here for CE device, the OPS is also based on uh, HTTP, uh, HTTP, because it uses REST for API, the REST for API. Okay, uh, represented uh, state transfer REST uh, is a style of software architecture. Uh, we have introduced the concept uh, uh, before. So all elements on network can be abstracted as resource, and each resource has, has a unique resource ID, a resource ID. Uh, uh, we call it a URI, a URI, a URI. URI have different time, a URL, a URL, and this is the location, and the URN, a URN, and this is the name, a name. Standard methods are used to operate the results. The call operation, uh, get put, post, delete. Uh, this is defined in HTTP. Uh, in OPS function, uh, we define the, uh, other, uh, other operations. Uh, we will define the other operations. Uh, rest of API, application um, programming uh, interface uh, API that uh, comply with the REST architecture. The OPS defines a set of REST for API and uh, use URI to identify open uh, uh, MOs. You can access MO, uh, manage object using standard HTTP method. Uh, HTTP method. Okay, uh, here is uh, OPS REST for API interaction uh, example. Uh, this is uh, uh, manage the object. Uh, we can see, we can catch, uh, we can get the CPU information, uh, system information, interface information. Uh, just uh, this is a Python script. Uh, this is a Python file. Uh, it will send a uh, HTTP request, uh, request to the uh, object, and uh, the device will respond HTTP. 
Uh, we will send the HTTP response message. Uh, let's say uh, overview of HTTP. HTTP uses the client and the server architecture model use TCP uh, to transfer data, uh, transfer data uh, such as uh, HTML file, image file, and the query results, and they use TCP port 8 by default. Uh, this is a web server. Uh, this means uh, this is a device. Uh, this is a device. Uh, and your PC, uh, PC is a client in HTTP. Uh, in HTTP. Uh, but for OPS, uh, the client and the server are all uh, client. Uh, client and a uh, server. All on the device, on the local device. Uh, local device. Uh, this is the HTTP packet format. Packet format. I, I think we have C, uh, C8 yesterday. Uh, IP header and TCP header and the TCP data. And uh, after the TCP data, it's HTTP packet. Uh, HTTP packet. Uh, HTTP packet uh, have two types. Request a message and the response message. Response message. You can see it can divide it into three types. A start line, describe operation to be performed in a request packet, and the execution request in a response packet. Uh, that means the start line in request packet and the in, in response packet. Uh, they are different. And then is a header field. Uh, describe additional information about the request and the response packets. Uh, for example, the header field host in a request packet uh, will specify the internet host of the request resource. Uh, resource. And uh, the header field contacts the type in the response packet. Uh, for OPS uh, today, we just support the contact uh, type to be uh, XML. Uh, XML. Uh, the type must be XML file. Body, the body of our request packet is the data to be sent by the client to the web server. Uh, the body of our response packet is the data to be returned by the web server to the client, uh, such as HTML text, imagine, and uh, videos. So uh, here is the request packet format, and uh, this is the response packet format. Uh, start line, we can see they are different. Uh, they are different. Uh, for the method, uh, act, uh, method action that the client expects the server to perform a resource, uh, it's a single word. Uh, for example, the guess, uh, the method uh, here maybe get, uh, get a post, uh, get a post. Uh, request the URL, pass over the request resource on the server, uh, URL, uh, URL. And the version, uh, HTTP version. Uh, HTTP have two versions, uh, version one and uh, uh, version two, uh, version two. Status code, we can see here. Status code is only uh, in the response packet. Uh, only in the response packet. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, 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 only have uh, the number uh, as the begin, begin code. And uh, this is the response phase, uh, response phase, which we explain the status code in a uh, human readable mode. Okay, this is an uh, example. Uh, this is a, a packet request, and here is a packet response. This is the action get, uh, get, and uh, uh, here we didn't show the URL, didn't show the URL, and uh, this is the HTTP version, our uh, version. And uh, for the response packet, first the is version and the status code, uh, status code, uh, 200 OK, 200 OK. And uh, this is a header field, a uh, header field. We can see here, this uh, list, uh, uh, list the host, uh, list the host, and uh, the client uh, app, uh, client app, uh, Mozilla uh, client app, and uh, they accept, uh, accept middle tab. A uh, middle tab and the language uh, and the language here. But in the response packet, we can see uh, the date, uh, the date, uh, the date, you can see the date. 
and also the contact type, contact type. Uh, this is the payload uh, in the HTTP package. The get method is usually to use, uh, is usually used to request the server to send a resource whose body is empty, uh, whose body is empty. Uh, okay, let's just say OPS, that's for API uh, example. The HTTP request sent by a user must be constructed based on the RESTful API defined by the OPS. The API for obtaining system information is described uh, just, like the, just like this. Uh, this uh, request example, including the HTTP header. Uh, the message is encoded in XML format. XML format. Uh, okay, uh, here uh, we want to get the information, system info, system info, uh, this information, this information. And uh, this is the response, uh, response, uh, 200, okay, that, that means you get the message uh, success. And uh, we can see here, the platform name, VRP, and the system name, Huawei, and uh, the uh, product name, device, uh, and so on, ESN, and uh, this is the system, uh, information, uh, system information. And uh, this is the URL, uh, URL, URL. You can uh, search the URL, uh, you can search the URL uh, from the product documentation. Uh, uh, we can see the usage of uh, Python script. Uh, we can see the step. We compare, uh, compare and upload a Python script. Uh, compare and upload the Python script, and uh, we install the Python script. Uh, install the Python script, and uh, we run the Python script. Uh, run the Python script. Uh, that means uh, you compare, uh, compare the script on your local PC, but uh, you must uh, upload the script to the device. Uh, to the device, and uh, on the device you must uh, install the Python script. Uh, just uh, like uh, you. Uh, import package in Python, and then last you run the Python script. Uh, run the Python script. Uh, let's see the part three, uh, OPS application scenario. Uh, scenario one, automatic deployment of a configured device. The OPS can implement automatic development of an configured device without the need of on-site uh, installation, reducing labor cost and uh, improving development uh, efficiency. Uh, here we can see the step. Well, first, uh, uh, this is the uh, device needed to be configured. And here is a DHCP relay agent. Uh, first, uh, the device will obtain the, the IP address, uh, script the server name and the script name. And then it will download the Python script. And uh, then we'll download the system software and the configuration file. Uh, let's see scenario two, automatic health check. Uh, health check with the uh, OPS function, a device can automatically run the health check command, periodically collect the health check results and send the uh, results to a server for analysis. Uh, this function reduces maintenance workload. Uh, this command uh, delivered through the Python script in installed in the network device system instead of, uh, instead of being remotely delivered. So, uh, you don't need to worry about the network disconnection. Uh, third scenario, uh, automatic backup configuration fails. Uh, configuration fails. Uh, network device subscribe to the configuration file, saving events through the maintenance assistant. Uh, you can have the maintenance assistant on our device. After the configuration is saved, the device automatically 
run the Python script and uh, send its configuration file to the server for backup. Uh, for backup, uh, reducing the manual backup workload. Workload. Okay. And the last is uh, the example uh, for OPS configuration practice. Uh, we can uh, see the configuration. I have four step. Uh, four step. First, uh, we compare the Python script. Uh, Python script. Uh, this is the most uh, uh, important part. And then we upload our Python script. We upload the script to the network device. And uh, we install the Python script. We use this command, OPS install, install file. Uh, and after the uh, file name, and last we run the Python script. Uh, you have two ways of uh, use the maintenance assistant or use the CRI command, OPS run, and uh, 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 later the file name, the file name here. Okay, uh, let's say an example for comparing a Python script. Python scripts are used to deliver HTTP request to the system for management. Uh, Huawei provides Python script uh, templates. Uh, you can download the Python script uh, templates. Uh, you only need to search for REST for API based on the function to be implemented and the modified code and the modified code. Uh, example of our Python script uh, is here. Uh, this is just an uh, example. Example. We can see here the OPS connection class is used to invoke RESTful API. Uh, RESTful API. Here, this class. This class. This class defines methods for establishing HTTP connection and the data needs to be modified. Uh, that means the, uh, this, uh, that means this code, you, you didn't need to modify it. You just download from the Huawei uh, website. Uh, uh, here I can see the uh, open. Uh, for this link, uh, you can uh, download uh, the OP, uh, OPS, uh, OPS, uh, for example, the OPS API, and uh, you can download it here. And then you can open, open it. And then you can open it. Uh, you can see. Uh, for the Huawei OPS, uh, OPS, the OPS, uh, uh, you have different operation, uh, operation, HTTP operation get uh, and put post. For OPS operation, you can have the get, set, create, and uh, and uh, delete, uh, delete. Here is uh, some example, the request example, uh, the request example based on uh, XML, uh, XML. It means if you want to uh, get the interface description, you just run the command. Uh, just run this command. Uh, and the response, uh, you didn't need to write. I uh, didn't need to write. And uh, CPU info, uh, CPU info. Uh, here you can see the URI here. Uh, URI, URI. Uh, later in our slide, you can also see the URI. URI. The operation is get, operation is get, and the here, uh, here is the request message. You must copy, uh, you must copy this, uh, copy this in your code. And then you must specify the URI, specify the URI. Okay, let's continue, say the slide. Okay, this is used to uh, OPS connection uh, to invoke RESTful API, to invoke RESTful API. You didn't uh, need to write the code, you just copy, uh, you just copy the code. Okay, method defined in OPS connection. Uh, we have this uh, define, uh, initiate, and the close, and the create, and the delete, uh, delete. 
This uh, is all provided by Huawei, uh, all provided by Huawei. And uh, this other, other method, uh, get, set, uh, set, and uh, reset the call, uh, reset the call. So for all this code, uh, you don't need to modify the method. Uh, you just uh, copy them to your Python uh, code, to your Python script. Uh, okay. You need to compare a method to invoke the RESTful API through an instance of the uh, OPS connection class. OPS connect class. Uh, uh, here, for example, the define get startup info, get startup info. The border code, uh, the border code needs to be modified based on the side requirements when you com compare a Python script. Here, this, the uh, the the board uh, the board font uh, the board font you must uh, uh, change it yourself change it yourself here is the URI uh, URI URI I have just show you uh, that's what the information you want to uh, you want to find uh, the URI uh, you can see oh you want to see PIM uh, and this is the URI okay. We have different SMP and SSH, uh, LLDP, uh, and so on. Uh, and uh, okay, request the data, and uh, we want to get a start startup information. Uh, startup information. You can also find the startup information in our uh, product document. A uh, document. Here we just uh, list uh, the function here. The operation is get, the operation is get. And the URI, URI is uh, a slash CFG and start up info, a start up info. This is a request uh, example, request example. So you must copy, uh, you must copy this to here, uh, to here, to request, uh, to request the data, to request the data. Uh, if you want to, uh, here, if you want to uh, query the CPU information, you just copy this, uh, copy this, and uh, you replace, uh, replace the, uh, this, uh, replace the, here. Uh, replace the here. Then you can uh, get the CPU information. Okay, and the URI, you change the name to this, uh, change the name, this URI. Uh, here, for example, you change the URI here. Okay, then you have modified the code to get CPU information. Okay, I think uh, uh, if you do the egg, Experiment, uh, uh, it, it's, it's easy to compare your Python file, uh, your Python file. Okay. Uh, according to the rest of API reference, uh, the HTTP operation corresponding to the rest of API for obtaining system startup information is get. So therefore, the get method of the OPS connection class instance is invoked. Uh, invoked. Uh, you can see the, uh, uh, you can see the parameter here, URI, and uh, request the data, uh, because you, the URI is equal here, uh, the equal here, and the request, uh, request, uh, request is this, uh, request the example is here. So this, uh, you just, uh, uh, you just uh, uh, input, uh, input the corresponding uh, parameter, uh, it's enough. And uh, you can change the get method to the create, delete, or set a method to the, of the OPS connection class based on the device management function to be uh, implemented, uh, implemented. So request the data indicates the request content and the receipt data indicates the response message after the network device perform the request uh, operation. Uh, in the main method, Host indicates the loop address, a uh, loop, uh, loop back address. Uh, currently, the rest of API can be invoked only inside the device. 
Uh, that means the value is localhost. Uh, uh, currently, you can just run the OPS function uh, on your local. Uh, on the local device, uh, on the local device. Okay. Uh, this is the case. Uh, here case is obtain CPU information on our device. Uh, uh, obtain CPU information on our device. And uh, here is the IP address. Uh, let's say, uh, based on the function of obtaining de device, uh, CPU information to be implemented implemented, obtain the URI, URI, request the message, response message by referring to the REST for API reference, uh, reference here. Uh, we, we search the uh, document, search the document, uh, document here. And then modify the related code in the Python script template based on the URI and the request content. Uh, just change the URI and the request content. Uh, request the content. I think uh, you uh, may not need to remember all the code. You just need to where to change. Uh, you just need to where to change. Uh, our code in the template doesn't need to be uh, modified. Uh, the URI is the CPU info. Uh, CPU info. And this uh, is here. Uh, is here. Where what you can find. Uh, in the device document, invoke the get CPU info method in the main method. Uh, in the main method, the main this get a CPU info. Get a CPU info. Uh, uploading a Python script. Uploading a Python script. Uh, on the on the CE device. A uh, CE device. You use FTP to download. Uh, download the CPU. Uh, demo. Dot py, uh, dot py, this is a Python file, I think Python file. And here is a transfer, finish the search successfully, uh, successfully. And uh, then you're uh, comparing a Python script, OPS ins install file CPU demo, uh, OPS install file a CPU demo, and display OPS script, display OPS script. So the CPU demo dot py script has been successfully uh, installed. Then we run the OPS Python file command to run the Python script. OPS run Python CPU demo. This is the name. Uh, this is the name of what you just uh, uh, upload. Just upload. Here you can see the uh, request message. Request the message here. Get uh, this URL. Uh, this URL. Uh, URL. Uh, this URL, I think uh, it's based on the YAN file, a uh, YAN file, a uh, YAN file, uh, because we have specified that the YAN is a tree like, uh, just like a tree. Uh, it have container, a uh, container, container, and the leaf, uh, list, 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 uh, this way. So we use a slash between different uh, level, between different level. Okay, uh, and uh, this is the response message. Response message content of the response message. Uh, HTTP uh, one one two hundred. Okay, uh, two hundred. Okay, and uh, here you can see the XML version of uh, one zero encoding uh, here. Encoding here. Okay, here is uh, uh, also the response uh, response message. We can see here. Uh, it will return the CPU information. Return the CPU information. Uh, in this case, the network device have two CPU. I uh, have two CPU. Uh, and uh, here is the uh, uh, position indicated the CPU position information. And uh, this is uh, uh, the the other CPU. I uh, have two CPU. Uh, one two. Uh, one two. And uh, uh, entitled the index indicates the CPU index information, and uh, here is the CPU usage, uh, CPU usage, uh, CPU usage, and uh, overload threshold, uh, overload threshold, and uh, unoverload threshold. Okay, so this is uh, uh, if you run the command, OPS run, uh, run Python, and the file name, 
uh, file name. And I will display uh, what you want, uh, what you want. Uh, okay. So uh, I think uh, uh, if you get the slide, I get the slide, uh, you can do, uh, do with our slide, uh, do it with our slide, and you just need to uh, use the CE device, uh, CE device. Okay. Uh, let's see the question. The OKS function uses standard HTTP method to access manage objects. Uh, uh, it can have all these uh, all these uh, methods. Uh, get put, post, and uh, delete. Okay. The OPS is a unique function of Huawei network device. It uses REST for API and the standard HTTP method to access M1 device, helping uh, user easily cope with uh, various network ornaments and uh, requirements. Uh, Huawei provides Python script uh, template. So this uh, makes it easy for you to compare the Python script uh, because you have the you have our template you have our template you only need to search for rest of API based on the function to be implemented and uh, modify code uh, which is easy to use uh, okay so here is the some useful uh, links uh, useful link uh, that's what uh, about we introduce uh, the uh, OPS fundamental. Uh, then we see the OPS experiment. Uh, then we see the OPS experiment. Okay. Uh, we'll uh, we'll do we'll show the OPS experiment uh, ten minutes later. Uh, ten minutes later. Uh, 